the well-being and, and let's start with stress. Let's start with this word stress. And let's can I take it for granted that everyone here has felt stress? <laughs> Is there anybody here who walks like an angel on the surface of the earth? and it's completely unperturbed at all times because um, you may have nothing You're to do. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm not sure I take on you. Um, so I want to sort of assume that from time to time, all of us experience what we label as stress, whatever that might be. So I think it would be very, very interesting to start going, what does that kind of look like and then what's it like when you're not feeling stressed? Like, what, what are those comparisons? You know, um, our minds learn by contrast and comparison. You need to kind of go, oh, that's happening when you're like this, in relation to this happening when you're like that. Now you can see the relationship between when you're at your best and when you're not at your best. So this is a very standard, classic, you know, uh, you know comparing two different states. But what I want to surface out of it, particularly, is to do with uh, this topic of stress. So I wondered if anybody, you know, who would like to, who's ever felt str stressed, let's take it as something that's not too great, like a, sort of stress, a stressful day at work. I'm going to keep on doing this very annoyingly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's stressed by me do. <laughs> I hated it when you <laughs> So let's have someone who doesn't mind being looked at, you know, doesn't mind just kind of reminding themselves. Yeah, lovely, Maria. <coughs> let's just do it again. A lot of you are master practitioners will have done this, you know, many times uh, in your in your training. And we'll do it just to set down. So information gathering um, at these kinds of different levels uh, to what's sort of going on at different levels. So it's just a, a basic kind of little mini piece of modeling. Then what I'll get you to do is do it in groups of you know twos or threes so that you start to get more data and we'll see if there's some patterns in the group. And then we can start to build a sense of these are the kinds of things that are happening in people's systems with the critical kind of um, patterns that we have, which is that we have language, like what's going on in the language patterns? What are the frames? What are the metamodel distinctions? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. What's going on in terms of the internal world of submodalities? Which again is one of our sort of specialist areas. Um, very. I don't know other uh, approaches that takes the the gestures where the pictures are, the descriptions of submodalities as as seriously as we do, as a way into somebody's subjective experience, and also the physiology, <laughs> including how they're you know standing, how they're. So what I'd like you to do, Maria, is we're just going to have this kind of very classic NLP, you know, this will be a space where you're kind of like really great, and this will be a place where you're stressed. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just kind of move you between one and the other, and we'll start to kind of build a little bit of a model, start to build a working model in kind of rough sort of ways about what are the patterns that you're generating in each and what maybe are some of the critical differences. So we can start to see when someone comes and says they're stressed, they're stressed at work, they're stressed at home, and what are going to be some of the things that we can start to wonder, I wonder if this is happening, I wonder if that's happening, I wonder if this is happening. Um, so, okay. um, which way do you want to start? When you're feeling great, when you're feeling... Well, I've been <laughs> stressed at the moment, so she's okay. stuck, that's quite yes, okay. with me at the moment. Okay. So she's stuck with <laughs> Yeah, but it's good stress. Feel free <laughs> to be stressed. <laughs> and just, uh, just kind of notice uh, what's happening, you know, focus on as if you're back in that situation. So yeah. we're going to like uh, invite the person to step fully into this so-called stressful type situation, see what you're seeing, hear what you're hearing, the usual NLP kind of like relive that moment. 
and just notice, just bring to your own awareness uh, what's happening in your body, uh, any particular images, if you want to sort of gesture in any ways. I noticed you went like this mm. when we were talking. She was, I've been stressed. <laughs> I think I could do that one first. <laughs> so we knew there was like this kind of gesture that's quite this kind of staccato <coughs> kind of gesture that seemed to, certainly when you were talking with me, mm -hmm. it may not be the, the only thing that you do, but that was something that came out of it. So just play around in there. And any pictures you're making? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Feelings in my body, yeah. The real breathing change, you know, I noticed first of okay. all, deep, you know, yeah, yeah. gulps of air, okay, okay, and a feeling of everything coming towards oh. you really, really quickly. Oh, lovely, it's all like, you know, like yes, yeah. lots Excellent. of things coming towards me, okay. So she goes, It's just a feeling, <laughs> but then she goes. <laughs> There's no visuals, it's just there's lots of things that we can always do really, really quickly. <laughs> and so we know from NLP, from modelling, you know, that's what this is. Like, what is that? There are like multiple images kind of coming at her. And notice how she's kind of like leaning back. It's like this. And then notice the kind of rate. She goes, well, they're all coming at me really, really quickly. You know, so you go, yeah, I can. So if you're doing the modelling, if you're the coaching, Obviously, if I try that on, one of the things I'm always doing in my own work, obviously you're, you're trying things on against your own and the other person's baseline, of course, making that comparison. We haven't done her baseline yet, but that is very interesting. If I just do that, I can, I can give myself that feeling <laughs> quite easily. <laughs> try that out, everybody. <laughs> that you're, you're, you're aware of in the internal dialogue? I mean, you, this is just a first rough kind of... Uh... Yeah, in my head, and I'm yeah. saying this verb, it's a, oh, yeah. I'm so busy, I've got so much going on. Yeah. And that makes me feel stressed as well. <laughs> yeah, and that makes you so... I just want you to notice all these causal, you know, it makes me stressed, it makes me stressed. Mm. I mean, classically with NLP, with normalizations, you'd ask this really, really dreadful question. And how are you stressing yourself? <laughs> how annoying is that? <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. But basically, notice that cause effect. This makes me stressed. So she goes, I'm really busy, so let's just have some of this. I'm really busy. What did you say? It makes me stressed. It makes me. I've got so much going stressed. on. I've got so much going on. Do you like to hear what my picture is as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a really big. It's what you were saying earlier, yeah, actually. Yeah. It's a really big yeah. picture with all these different things that are going on yeah. in chaos. There's yeah. no linear or structure, um, or it's all over the place. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. It's exciting because I'm a big, quite a big yeah, person, yeah, but it's yeah. all a bit chaotic yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Just want to say that Maria is one of the people I remember. She knows I have like, oh, always remembered her modeling I know what you're project. Say. Yes. <laughs> her modeling project. Would you like to share? Go. Well, Julie said, really choose something that you can't do. And I thought, oh, I don't know what to choose. And then one day I was putting together a piece of IKEA furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time I lied extra blind and nearly chucked it out the window within about three minutes, I thought this is a great project. <laughs> so I did how to assemble flat pack. Furniture, which actually had a huge impact on my life, not with IKEA, but with my next program is a course with that small chunk and step by step, because I'm a big picture person. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing that thing yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just it reminded yeah. me actually. Yeah. So she goes, I've got this big picture, she goes like this, and notice, is the picture bigger than her? Mm -hmm. so it's certainly up there, so she's having to kind of go like this. Well, there's all these things. You know, it's kind of exciting, but it's chaotic. And there's this sense of things also Deadline. coming at her. Yeah. Deadlines. Workshops These are deadlines. Written, Workshops yeah. that haven't <laughs> written. So is this like a kind of... <laughs> So are these like deadlines? Are yeah. these like, is this like these time? dates on my timeline these are ti events dates, that I'm running. Like got, I've still got to finish dates writing. Dates on her timeline that are kind of like whizzing towards her. Yeah. God, I can make my feelings feel really ill. Oh, really serious. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I've come out of a rack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so awful already. <laughs> uh, excellent. So these are all the 
deadlines, this is like timeline, all coming from me. Then I've got this picture, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm saying to myself, I'm really busy. I've got so much going on because there's all this stuff and there's all these deadlines coming in. Wow. But I sort of know it's going to be okay, but it's just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's still coming in. You said it's exciting as well. Yeah, it's exciting, exciting stuff. Well. It's a mix. Of, see, this is where you're on that sort of cut. Yeah, it's not a negative stress. It's <coughs> yeah. really, really exciting. There's a kind of positive, projects. exciting, but yet it's all chaos yeah. and it's, it's stress. And there's yeah, high it's energy. It's exciting. exciting. It's high energy. Yeah. So it's not like that negative where you feel, mm, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. It's yeah. really high energy, yeah. which makes that go faster, I think. I think it might Yeah, do. I think it really yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I'll step back away from there and just... I mean, you have the chance to, in a way, watch that yep. going on. That's very helpful, actually. Isn't it? Just, just to take a few minutes yeah. to, to really explore what yeah. I'm doing with myself. Yeah, you know, there's this big but... picture, there's yeah. lots on, I'm excited, and yeah, I'm also, yeah. you know, it's sort of chaotic, there's all these timelines coming in. There's this amazing kind of, <laughs> you know, sort of pace of things, isn't it? And the, and the more I say I'm busy, the quid speeds up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a lot on, and then I feel it all here. And I'm part excited, part kind of like, yeah, yeah, okay. So then, what's it like? Well, maybe you're always like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, okay, so. I do have this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's kind of let you step into there and go, this is where maybe you've still got to work things on, but, <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's happening in the way you that's really enjoyable for you. It's still exciting, maybe. Still got some of that excitement. It's lower energy. energy. It's lower energy. What does this mean? It's coming down. It's coming down. Grounding. It's grounding. So there's a whole different feeling. Yeah, in your actually, because there is very heavy. Yeah. Here, I can really feel myself yes. connecting with the wow. floor and everything. Yes. So it's, okay. It's a heavier that's energy. Really, yeah. But a nice energy. Yeah. <sighs> That's like being able to breathe. Yeah, so she can breathe. She's got this sense of things going down. And I can see, you know, like a pathway that's like got lovely sort of space around yeah. it. Yeah, lovely. And I'm walking along it and it's all calm. Oh, it feels lovely. And, and are, are there any deadlines on this path? No. No, I can't right. actually, no. no right. If I think okay. about them. No, 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 just uh, interested if they're... You know what, they could be deadlines. Yeah. And as they are, there's like a pathway to yes. the deadline. And yes. then there's like a little marker. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. Because I can see just that one marker and then there's yeah. another marker yeah. and there's another a space marker. between them. Great. And so, this is yeah. off, of course, the future yeah. timeline. Again, something that in NLP we seem to have, and they're still uh, discovering it in universities around the world. <laughs> that organised time. So we've got this very, very interesting going off because there's a marker. It's so quite like, linear. Right, it's where that is very chaotic. It's kind of path, this is quite like nice and linear. It's clear. Nice, linear, clear. There are markers. Yeah. There's a path to the marker. And also, I can look around and there's lovely space around me in this, in this picture. There's kind of centered, grounded. And I'm moving really forward towards them as opposed to them uh -huh. coming in. And so I'm, I'm walking forward. Wow! That is amazing. Mm. See, now this is it. We can all go home, basically. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sense of really walking, yeah. you know, just ambling along. Agency, oh, autonomy, right. self-efficacy, yeah. you know, these are these kinds of issues, they're kind of belief issues. I make things happen in my world. I walk towards things to engage and achieve them, express myself. You know, I'm totally connected into the world. There's a created pathway, there's space, there are particular kind of deadlines and markers. And I, it's not all happening to me. So this whole kind of cause-effect logic is very different. Okay, I'm not at the effect end. And yeah, here, I'm there's a panoramic view. I can see yeah, it. Yeah. So this is one path, but there's yeah. all the rest of my life around it. It's not wow. just about work or, you know. Wow. Whereas there, it's all focused on work. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, Hannah, so we've got a lot of submodalities, haven't we, basically? We've got a lot of physiology, we've got some of the language, especially with these kind of really critical what influences what, what end of the sort of influential loop are you? You know, are things happening to you? Or are you making things happen in the way that you want them to? This is also going to be really important in terms of, you know, these kind of issues of depression, helpless, hopeless, can't make anything happen, the world happens to me. So I think these are kind of really, really wonderful examples, very, very kind of thorough examples. And let's just look at our logical levels and see if there's anything else that we can feel. We've definitely got different gestures and behavior, different ways of standing, different kind of, you know, here it's like there's a lot of this going on, you know, there's things she's saying, like, you know, I'm busy, I've got a lot on. Over here she's got this very sort of flowy, yeah. there's space, it's panoramic, there's my whole life, there's pathways, <laughs> there's markers, you know, it's all down and very grounded. Because you know, over here it's all <laughs> so we can see lots of differences in behaviors and the kind of things that she says. So this is about what people say and do. We can also see in terms of things like submodalities, a more here state uh, strategies, a more here kind of energy is more here. We can see her using her internal world that's organized very, very differently, isn't it? And there are also different kinds of um, things that she actually says one can pattern into beliefs here, like cause-effect type beliefs, meaning type beliefs, um, you know, different kinds of labels, etc., etc. Um, what would you say? I think we've kind of captured some of it. We've very much got, didn't we, even without directly asking her, she goes, over here, it's just all about work. And then she goes, but over here, my whole life is here. It's lovely. We go, oh, this is sort of where we are kind of up here now. This is how to listen out for where are you, which spaces are being covered and talked about. Um, what about here, when you're over here, what's your sense of who you are and your vision? And, you know, is there any even space for that? Well, there is and there isn't. Yeah. In reality, yes, there is. Because yes. it is what my work is very fulfilling yes. and it's what I love. Yes. But in that moment, yes. I'm sort of like, ooh, you know. Yes. I'm, oh, I'm, 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 okay. I've disappeared yes. under all that. Yes. You know, yes. all those tasks and yes. things I've got to do. Yes. And notice you see the word vision. <coughs> so you go, can you get your vision? Go, oh, I've disappeared. You know, it's like you can't literally, she can't see beyond this. Here, there's a pathway into the future and around her. Very, very different kinds of representations, which take you right up to here. So these are the kinds of things you're listening out for. What are the kind of patterns in the language, in the physiology, in the submodalities, in the sense of covering this kind of space, or in any problems with this kind of space? Where you go, someone without vision, who's kind of, in a way, lost themselves a bit, they're running a belief, life happens to me, and I don't have, I am busy, I've got so much on. Notice she doesn't say, I've chosen multiple projects. That would be the other way of saying that. that yeah, 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 that's I've the chosen reality. To do this. I've yeah. chosen to do this. She just goes in this slightly disconnected yeah. way. I've got a lot on. Like, well, who chose that? It was chosen by, you know, the elves of the universe. <laughs> 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 yeah, I have no responsibilities here. Here she's going, yes, here are my things. There's the marker I've put there. It's, I'm walking to it. So you see all these kind of really key differences. And I think then we would sort of go, well, this would be our baseline. You know, if I was working, you know, with Maria, this would be kind of, I would be looking for her to be more like that over here. And then I'd know, job done. Because, in fact... Yeah, why don't you sort of... I'll bring my pathway, I think. Yeah, well, it's like, it's just like the fact that I've got to chunk it down, so I'm going to bring well, my pathway. Or just bring your centered, you know, bring okay. that centeredness. I mean, I tend to work from the somatic first. 
go, what happens if you just bring breathing over here? What would that do for you? And a sense of your, you know, you said my feet the ground are is, really yeah. on the ground. I can feel my legs, you said yeah. here. What happened if you just literally brought that feeling? You don't even need to bring the cognitive things. Just bring that feeling. Do this gesture where you're going, you know, feel your legs. That feels really different. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it feels calmer. Yes. It's still those bits. It's still not <coughs> quite though, linear, but the, the bits yeah. are sort of, they're not whizzing around anymore. They've yeah, calm, yeah. They've, they've, stopped. they've stopped. So they're like static now. Yes. I can see them. Okay. I can see which each thing is. Ah, oh, you see, now this is the critical piece. When they were all like this, she couldn't actually see them. So it's like you've got this, this uh, experience multiple kind of images of things you can't quite see. You know there's something meaningful in all of them, but you don't know what, because they're not still enough, and you're not somehow calm enough, but you go, now I can actually see all the pieces. Yeah, yeah go on. And just keeping that, your legs and that. Because it's very easy to suddenly start yeah. feeling a bit more. Yeah. But the thing I want you to look at is, in a way, her. Yeah. You know, just let, I mean, this is the great thing about NLP, it's like, I don't need to do anything. You know, it's so light for me. <laughs> I just go, well, she knows best, you yeah. know. She's going to be a better teacher to you than I can ever be. Uh, you know, it's like, she's got it. She understands. She's got it. So if you just tune to that breathing and that physiology again. That's better. Yeah. And you just know you can see things. Yeah. Actually, there is a pathway now. Yeah, now the pathway starts to appear a little bit. Yeah, I can see just ahead of me. Yeah. It's not that okay. long pathway, but yeah. it's, it's yeah. appearing, it's so I can walk. See ahead, yeah. And that's good, because it's taking yes. my vision away from up there yes. to the reality of here, yes. which is like my strategy yes. and what I need to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that feels a lot better. Yeah. That feels I can take those steps. Oh, well, there you through. go. See, there's Definitely. one of my little evidences. Yeah. The, le the right foot forward. forward yeah. You know, I kind of go, well, that's it. I, you know, I've helped this person. You know, I have not. I haven't necessarily helped her solve all this stuff, but she's going in the right direction, connected to the right resources now. Anything else, really? I mean, I could reinforce this, and we could do more. But really, how easy peasy is that, really, in terms of NLP? And it's not quite what we're doing, but it is sort of like well, having this space. Isn't that interesting? interesting. It's yes. manageable. I can, yes. I can do it, but yes. it feels more manageable now. Yes. And in that state, things will just, you know, yes. they'll have an order yes. and a process. And to you go can through. already start to see yeah. how that could be possible. Because then you want to kick in, obviously, then the, the submodalities so that it plans and it, you can see, see the pathway. So just step back a moment. So, and just take a breath and just kind of let that out. <sighs> So this is sort of our first exercise anyway. We're doing basically a piece of modelling. We're going to come back and find the key things that you've all got in common about what is it when you're thriving and there's a sense of well-being and a sense of engagement and maybe excitement, maybe sort of calmness. You're kind of moving into your world in an active, proactive way. What's the difference between that and when you're and, um, <laughs> stressed? And what, what, it'd be different for different people, but I think we can gather in a room like this some really quality kind of descriptions, which can start to be our guides for when we're working with people. Using this also as a kind of backdrop, like, have, we, have I got things at all the different levels? Have some of them sort of disappeared? Uh, what's going on in the language? What's going on in the way that the person is... Envisioning, envisaging things, what's going on in their physiology, you know, she said breathing, it's a lot of gestures, a lot of shoulder tightening, a lot of uh, on the back foot, you know, we say all these things, don't we, on the back foot, or best foot forward, we literally saw some of these physical metaphors coming to life, just completely spontaneously. Um, uh, so, yeah, good, thank you very much, Maria, that's great.